This is Tim Amasal and it's Wednesday morning <clears throat> and as you can probably hear I'm still not very well. I've been off work for two days. Uh, one of the prices that of the price that I pay for performing these days um, is I get sick afterwards. Uh, <laughs> it's really strange. Um, I use a great deal of energy when I perform. More energy than my body wants me to. And uh, I love it at the time. I feel very energized at the time. But what happens to me is for the next two days, I just plummet. And so I have been laid low for two solid days. And here I am. As you can hear, my voice is still not right. Um, my back is absolutely killing me. I'm not sure if that's from lying in bed for two days or that I've got a disc out or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, I am on my way to work. And the subject I was going to talk about today, because somebody had asked me to, was about anxiety. Um, but what I thought I'd do is I'd start off by just talking about overwhelm because I think from what I heard from the person who was talking about anxiety that really her anxiety comes from overwhelm and so you've got to look at all this thing and saying what's causing the anxiety well from what I heard about from this particular person was that <clears throat> they had got all sorts of problems going on and that required money and then there were two of them and one of them has just lost the job and then on top of that so I believe that she has sorry that was an ambulance coming my way um, that she has um, severe toothache and of course now does not have coverage because she's lost her job so uh, it's it's what I call financial overwhelm uh, or anything overwhelm because you, you can't see a way out you, and it's really really a difficult place to be in and I understand that so I'm going to start off by talking about my overwhelm in the hope that it sort of makes some sense uh, I'm in overwhelm at the moment as well. <clears throat> I'm not feeling well. I have a job to do that takes a lot of my strength. And then on top of that, I have a YouTube channel to support, uh, which also takes time and effort. And then I've also got a house to run that takes time and effort um, and if you could see my house right now right now um, it, it's horrible after two days of just dropping things in the sink because I just couldn't find the energy to to both cook and clean up I mean it, it, it's not like me but it is what happened and then this morning, you know, it's just like I was running so late, I didn't have time to tidy it up anyway. So then I look at that and I look at my, never mind, it's a long story, but basically I'm in total overwhelm around my house and around uh, my life right at this moment. So, and I look at it. And this is why I wanted to tell that viewer, you know, this, this happens. Life got in the way, am I right? You know, you thought everything was going in the right direction and suddenly boom. I thought everything was going absolutely beautifully this weekend until my body just said enough and pulled the plug. Um, 
And so you look at it and you go, what am I going to do about it? Well, first of all, I'm going to be really grateful. I'm going to be really grateful that I got to spend the weekend with all the young people that I did because I love to do that. I, I don't care if my body pays the price for it. I love to do it. I love to see their faces. I love to hear their excitement. I love to hear their dreams. And I love to, to have time to talk to them. So I don't have any regrets about that. Now, do you think there's part of me that goes, well, you may want to rethink whether the price you pay is worth it. Yes, I don't mind telling you that my logical mind has processed that. And I don't mind telling you that <clears throat> I know I'm going to pay the price and I pay so knowingly. I mean, I do the, do the work knowingly. And if it costs me two sick days a year to do it, I know the difference it makes is well worth it. So, I guess the first thing in overwhelm that you look at is the individual components, because if you look at it all together, it's total overwhelm, it's not worth it. So then I look at um, my house. And the reason I'm very stressed about that is because I've got a client coming in on Saturday. Um, now that sounds like a long way away, but for me it isn't. So that means that my living room and dining room need to be tidied up. And my kitchen need to be t tidied up by Saturday. So here's the truth of it. When I looked at it this morning, it looked like it would take three days to tidy up my kitchen. Well, it isn't true. It will probably take an hour. And then some effort to keep it tidy for the rest of the week. <clears throat> so, we go back to the comment that I made last week, which was, it's very easy to awfulize it, and it's not as awful as it looks. It just is bad. It's not terrible. Um, my living room probably, again, my living room, dining room, would probably, again, also take about an hour to just get that tidied and cleaned up. So, we're talking about two hours' work. the end of the world. Now that's two hours work if I come home from work feeling energized, which I'm unlikely to do. So Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, I've got to do at least at least half an hour a night to get that tidied up. which is doable. So, now I look at what the viewer was saying, or so many of the things she was talking about were financially um, motivated. So the first thing I would say to her is look at everything in individual components and see what does it take to fix them working on the individual components. Don't look at it all together, it'll be too much for you. And so, <clears throat> if you look at the fact that you have toothache and that you cannot afford to have um, treatment. I'm trying to think when in my life I had that situation and I did have it once in my life and 
I am certain there are other viewers who have had that situation as well. Uh, and I understand that it's very difficult if you live in a situation where you haven't got health coverage. It's one of the things I really appreciate about Canada, that basic health coverage is there. Now, it doesn't cover dental, so I understand that as well, which is, you know, I have in the past had to have teeth pulled rather than have them worked on because I couldn't afford um, what was needed to have them worked on. So, I think you may have to, you know, think about what can you do and not what can't you do. If you are in a lot of pain, um, and you have uh, an abscess, for example, I'm, I'm not sure in America what you do about that. Uh, but I will leave it to my viewers to give you their input. Um, but there has to be an answer somewhere. So my feeling is, if you have an abscess, that what you need is antibiotic to get the abscess done. Now, if you've got sensitivity on a tooth because you need a filling, then oil of cloves, I believe, works really well. Oil of cloves. C-L-O-V-E-S. I'd be speaking to my pharmacist. Find out what can you do. Pharmacists are really helpful people in situations like this. They're really good on short-term answers. Um, and so, one of the most important things when you've got overwhelmed situations is that you start getting proactive. But if you sit around and just think about what you can't do, you're not going to get anywhere. You know, and if you blame the world, well, you know, if, if only I had health care, I could do this. If only I had this, I could do that. If you sit and do that, it's not getting you anywhere, except you're going to get more and more depressed, which I don't recommend. Um, what you, what makes the difference is when you start talking to people and saying, okay, fine, what is possible? So I call upon, oops. I got a new coffee mug this weekend, and guess what? It doesn't have the rubbery stuff at the bottom. I get, just found out. I turned a corner. Hang on a second. I turned a corner and it, it went sliding. So I got some of this rubbery stuff here. That was quite funny. Okay. <laughs> Just watch my coffee go. Um, <laughs> well, that cheered me up. Good news was it didn't keep going. I was very grateful for that. It could have been quite something. So, my... My reality is that I will stay in overwhelm if I don't do anything about it. And so, if you have got... You know, it's a, literally a, a painful situation. Um, I, I would definitely be talking to my family and friends about that and see if you can get a short-term loan. I am certain they will understand if you've lost your job and everything else. This isn't a, you being a wuss. This is uh, you in need of to get out of pain. Uh, and that's a different situation. Most people see that not as you being unrealistic. So maybe you can borrow the money. Um, but I would also recommend, if you're going to borrow the money, that you make it quite clear that you may not be able to repay them until you get a job. 
Now, I understand that your husband also doesn't have health care because he's just got a new job and it's going to take three months until he qualifies. Well, I understand that reality as well. Um, I've been there in that situation. So, again, you know, part of this isn't quite as bad as it seems. You've just got to have a three-month holding pattern here on this one. Now, I can't remember what the other issues were, and I certainly don't want to look at my notes while I'm driving, but I, I will look at them and make sure that we cover them off this week, because I know there were lots of different ones. But I remember this, this um, being out of a job and the toothache being two of the things. So, part of it goes, you probably don't feel much like job hunting when you've got toothache. Well, you need to be. The most important thing for you right now is to be looking for a job. And not just a job, one that will pay you benefits and will bring money into the family. I think the sad thing about today's reality, and I want to make sure that you know that I'm aware of this, that there are less and less full-time jobs with full benefits. I understand that. More and more part-time jobs where they give you just enough hours to squeak in under the wire where they don't have to give you benefits. And that's pretty sad, but it is today's reality. And so part of your reality may be that you have to take a job without benefits, in which case you're very lucky to be in a relationship with somebody who will have benefits in a little while. I look at it and go, when I get home tonight, I will have two choices. Crawl into bed and feel sorry for myself because I'm so tired and because I'm so exhausted and I don't feel like cooking for myself or doing anything else or spending at least half an hour Uh, I'm probably going to spend at least half an hour tidying up the living room and dining room because I know that my kitchen will get cleaned up. Do you know what I mean? It's just like... And it's unlikely <laughs> that the client will be in there, but it will get cleaned up anyway. Um, I can do a little bit of that sort of in-between stuff. All right, so that's my plan, and that's how I'm going to get out of my overwhelm. I am now running well over half an hour late for work, because not only was I late getting up, which I was, but then I got in the car and found out I didn't have any gas. So I made the call. I'm not proud of myself, but I am on my way to work. I could have stayed in bed another day. So, what can I say? I've done my best. So on a positive note, um, I thank you all for thinking that I'm positive all of the time. <laughs> I, I try to see the upside most of the time. I can't say I'm positive all of the time. That wouldn't be true. But what I am very aware of. Have you noticed that the mornings are getting lighter for those of you who live in this hemisphere? Um, I'm definitely noticing that the days are beginning to get a bit longer, which means if you're living in the southern hemisphere, they're probably beginning to get a bit shorter. Um, <laughs> but our days are definitely beginning to get a bit longer, which is very, very encouraging. Uh, we are Walk, working our way and walking our way towards spring. I am definitely delighted to be back vlogging again. I felt really badly that I couldn't do it for a couple of days and I actually went to put up um, a quick thing that I had done on jealousy and it was just a couple of quick um, things to make people understand there were different sorts of jealousy 
and then when it went to process it processed with a whole lot of blank screen attached to it I'm not quite sure why um, and so I got a lot of people telling me that I had a blank video which was very kind of them and I appreciated it I tried not to take it too personally uh, and one of the things that I was well aware of it's a really good idea to have some backup material hanging on the side in case you have a couple of sick days which I did and I thought about it afterwards and I could have put up some memory stuff from maybe two years ago that people would laugh at so it's a good day I'm on my way to work I might be late but I still have a car to drive in and I still have gas in the tank or I did manage to put gas in the tank Wow and they've taken all the parking spaces. How's that? I'm going to be completely lost tonight when I go to find my correct parking space. So I'm going to park right here instead. So, have a wonderful day everybody. This is dear Mama Sal saying thank you so much for watching. If you're in overwhelm, take it one step at a time. Sort it out one step at a time and then just allocate a little bit of time to each. It's the only way it's going to work. All right, bye bye for now. Thank you.